Hi, I'm David Kinneman, and I'm here with friends from Alpha, and we're talking about a brand new study called Reviving Evangelism. Over the last year or so, we've been working on this major study, trying to understand what's happening uh, in uh, evangelism, spiritual conversations. Uh, there's a brand new setting, really, for how we share our faith. And you folks at Alpha have been working on this for many, many years. Uh, we're here with Dane Sanders and Angela Chadwick. Uh, why don't you guys tell us a little about your particular roles at uh, Alpha and why you're excited about this study? I'm the National Director of Prayer um, here in the United States, and I think just we want to provide the church with as much intel as possible so that they really can be the light of Christ in, in the world. And th studies like this and the things that you guys do here at Barna, we get us so excited because it's providing information that um, you know, we may not otherwise have in our own unique context. Um, it gives us a much bigger picture of the people that we want to reach and, and the ways in which we can reach them. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why we're so drawn uh, to the work that you all do is because this is not news to you. You guys have been tracking these things for a long time. And um, we just felt this desperate need to tune in to what is currently true. And we need better data points to do that. So one of the reasons we're so enthused to, um, with the chance to work with you guys at Barna, it, it really gets us out of our own conversation mm -hmm. and some elevation on well, what, what's the bigger, way beyond Alpha, what's going on for the church? What's happening in America? Mm -hmm. And how can we understand more accurately current reality so we can plot a path to a preferred future. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, one of the cool uh, findings from this study, it's an uncomfortable one, is this idea of spiritual hunger. Mm. Many people in America are spiritually hungry. We've given some dimension to that in mm. this research in some new ways that, that Barn has never done before. Uh, but I think as Christians, we think, well, everyone's got this sort of God-shaped hole. But mm -hmm. when we do the research and ask very specific questions around spiritual hunger and other things, mm -hmm. yes, there are millions of Americans who are spiritually hungry, but a lot of people, especially non-Christians and others, people of no faith, they're not, they don't express any spiritual hunger in the way we would think. So mm -hmm. getting our own perceptions right-sized and yeah. like beginning to say, okay, well, how do we actually talk about this thing called faith in our lives and our faith in Jesus in a, in a way that really does reach that spiritual hunger because we all understand there is something that mm. lies deep in the human heart that yeah. longs for God. And as you guys think about how you know Alpha comes to Barna to gift this research to the church to help church leaders understand its context today, mm. uh, what's one of your sort of primary hopes out of this, this study? What, what do you hope a church leader might gain from this mm. fresh perspective? Mm. We live in a moment where it's really tempting to just sit on the mm. sidelines and go, the culture's too big. I can't engage, mm. there's nothing to renew, game's over. And all the ingredients that we saw in a post-Christian Europe 30 years ago, we're seeing that the same kinds of things, although nuanced in, in, a, in a current time, in a current place, in the internet age in America, it's mm. a little different, but there are some ingredients there that are very consistent. And I think for folks to, walk, um, to read that study and then go, okay, so there's a lot more here. It's gonna look different than what we've done, mm -hmm. but we have a lot of path pathways forward mm -hmm. if that if that happened for folks and they started experimenting they went way beyond what we're doing and and really expanded the conversation so more people were in, invited in uh, we'd call that a massive win yeah the more and more we we have intel on what is going on in people's hearts and minds um, I know even just seeing some of the raw data from the study there were just new revelations for me just as a person who loves to share my life and faith with my neighbors and friends and the people that don't know Jesus that are in my life, um, that information is helpful. It helps me helps me relate to them and empathize with them and, and actually it helps me know more about my own self even because I'm living in this culture too. And so I feel like just not even for church leaders and, and you know, we can talk a lot about that, but just as for the regular everyday churchgoer to have a better understanding of my neighbor and how I can love and serve them more better mm -hmm. in this life and in this day, then it's worth it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, so we hope you take a look at this new report called Reviving Evangelism. Uh, and it's been fun talking to you guys. You too. Thank you, David.